Welcome to the PoolMade salt chlorinator installation video. Let's explore what's in the box. The dog bowl. The blank. The cell holder with locking screw. The cell and o-ring. Two mounting options. The controller. The transformer an instruction manual and finally two elbows. Installing your PoolMade salt chlorinator. The installation of your new PoolMade salt chlorinator requires that you fit the cell holder into the return line of your filtration system. Use the two elbows supplied to raise the cell holder above your water level. This will allow water to drain out of the cell holder when your filtration system is not in operation. This is a safety feature which allows the chlorinator to shut down if no water is in the cell holder. The absence of water is detected by a detector pin. Roughen the inside of the cell holder pipe connectors with sandpaper and the fixing surfaces of the elbow connectors. Use a PVC cement on both surfaces and fit the elbows with their exterior connections facing downwards. Cut into the existing return line in preparation for fitting the cell holder. You may require other pipes and connectors for your system depending on your filtration system's pipe arrangement. Before any installation, turn the system off Kindly determine your additional pipe and connector requirements. Cut into your return line and with whatever your pipe and connector requirements are, connect the cell holder in your return line. Remember to use PVC cement at every connection. Also remember that the cell holder needs to be fitted above water level. Allow the PVC cement to dry for 24 hours. Next, we fit the cell into the cell holder. Ensure the O-ring is fitted uniformly in the groove of the cell. Slide your lock nut over the cell cables bottom first. Place the cell into the cell holder and screw down the lock nut. A dog bowl is supplied for the non-self-cleaning chlorinators. This bowl has markings on its inner wall. These indicate the levels of water and hydrochloric acid required to make up a solution for cell cleaning. When there is a calcium buildup between the cell plates, the cells need to be cleaned. Unscrew the locking nut and remove the cell. Never use mechanical means of cleaning and only remove the cell when the system is not in operation. Place it in the cleaning solution for 10 to 15 minutes. This action will remove the calcium from the plates. The supplied installation manual contains full details of the cleaning solution mixture. Replace the cell after cleaning and commence with chlorination. A second reminder, never use mechanical means such as knives or screwdrivers to remove calcium buildup from the plates of the cell. This will damage the special coating on the plates and affect operation of the unit. The next part to fit is the transformer. Using the correct screwdriver, Remove the screw located in the centre of the terminal connector cover. Lift off the cover, exposing a quick connector. Connect the lead from your controller to this quick connector inside the transformer. You will hear a definite click sound when they are correctly married. Replace the terminal connector cover and secure it with the central screw. The transformer must be mounted above ground level by means of its mounting bracket. Screws are provided in the kit. 
it is mounted above ground level as a safety measure from flooding. The transformer has a built-in 1 amp fuse. This fuse is easily replaced by pulling it out of its socket and pushing a new fuse in. The transformer has a 16 amp plug for its supply voltage. Be warned, if you do not have a supply socket that this plug can be inserted into, you must engage the services of a qualified and certified electrician to install one for you. The cell should now be connected to the controller. Simply take the cell lead and plug it into the quick connector on the controller. There are two mounting options supplied with the controller, the wall mounting bracket and pipe clips for mounting the controller to one of the pipes. For the wall mounting bracket, slide the bracket onto the back of the controller from the bottom. Use the bracket screw holes to mount it to the wall. Alternatively, you may clip the pipe clips into the slots in the wall mounting bracket. Slide the bracket onto the back of the controller from the bottom and clip the controller to one of the pipes on your system. Now that everything has been installed and connected, apply power to the system. You should see the green indicator on the transformer light up and the display of your controller light up. Each time you press the on-off switch on your controller, the amount of chlorine produced will be increased according to the level indicated on your display. The center display indicates the current salt level of your pool, which could be high, correct or low. The bar graph is another indicator of the amount of chlorine being produced. This is just a quick check of correct operation. Remove supply power and introduce salt into your pool. The last part of the installation is the introduction of salt into your pool. Please refer to the manual for salt quantity requirements. Wait for four hours after the introduction of salt into your pool, then apply supply power to the system. Have a quick check of all indicators on the transformer and controller and enjoy your pool made salt chlorinated pool. Well, that's all on the pool made salt chlorinator. May you enjoy a forever sparkling clean and hassle free pool with pool made pool products.